Hello guys, I'm Shrijita. Welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm marinating mutton uh, because tomorrow I'm gonna make biryani for lunch. So yeah, for marination I'm gonna add uh, yogurt, cumin powder, coriander powder, red chili powder, little bit of lemon juice and mustard oil too. Then I'm gonna give it a thorough mix and keep refrigerated. Then on the next day before cooking, I take out this marinated meat uh, from fridge at least before half an hour to make it in a room temperature. So yeah, now let's start the cooking. So first I'm gonna add oil in the pan, then I'll add whole garam masala and I add chopped onion and ginger garlic paste, saute it. After uh, the onion got translucent in color. I add um, the marinated uh, meat, mixed it up and add salt and biryani masala and cook it thoroughly until it's fully cooked. I cover it up and every 5 minutes I give it a star. If needed, I'll add water. It took me 2 hours to cook the meat. If you're using chicken, it will take a lot less time than this. Uh, but if you're in hurry and uh, you want to make mutton biryani, you can cook it in a pressure cooker also. So by the time mutton is cooking on the another oven I'm gonna fry potatoes. I'll add salt and biryani masala for flavoring. Now on the same pan I'm gonna fry chopped onion on a medium high heat to make barista and no need to add salt into the onion otherwise it will not be crunchy. Now I'm going to make rice. For that I take my rice pan with water into it and then add jeera. If you have sahi jeera that will be great. Add that and then whole garam masala and mess and nutmeg and oil and salt to test and bring it to boil. Then I add uh, soaked rice and get it 80% cooked then I strain the rice. So for the coloring and flavoring of the biryani rice, I'm going to use soaked saffron. So in that case, I uh, take half cup of milk and add saffron into it and microwave it for 30 seconds and it's ready to use. Now all the preparations are done. Now I'm going to make the biryani layers. So for that, at first I'll take a big pan. Then I brush the ghee first then I'll add mutton uh, layer first then the rice then I'll add ghee and sprinkle barista and add uh, salt and biryani masala all over the rice and I'll add the saffron mix also then I'll add potatoes and boiled egg and I'll keep doing the same process until all is done Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I'll add a little bit of Kara water for the flavoring. Um, just use a pinch of it. Don't use too much. That will ruin the dish. For sure.
I'm gonna cover it up and put it on a tawa, not on a direct heat for 10 minutes on a medium heat and it's ready to serve. Now I'm making raita for the side. and Shomo is gonna have our lunch now and watch movie that day we were watching Padmavat so yeah So after having lunch, I'm gonna do the dishes. First I'm gonna put away all the washed dishes and then I'm gonna load the dishwasher and give it a wash. Now I'm going to sweep the kitchen floor with the angled broom. This clip is actually from the next days. Um, me ironing the clothes. Actually, I have this huge load of clothes which needs to be ironed out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now.
now I'm gonna clean my bathroom uh, because it's a mess right now and I need to clean this up a bit so that's what I'm doing right now So yeah guys that is all for my today's video. I'm gonna see you guys on my next video. Till then keep smiling, stay healthy. And if you like love this video then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And uh, if you love to watch my videos and you didn't subscribe yet then please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's in the down below and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video you'll get a notification so that you won't miss any of my videos. So yeah guys that's all. I'm gonna see you guys on my next video. Bye bye.